This is a computer science challenge that is called Lowest Common Ancestor and that is designed to test your skills at handling binary search trees. The challenge is as follows. It's asking you to write a function that finds the lowest common ancestor of two nodes in a binary search tree. So you are given two particular nodes in a binary search tree and you are asked to find the lowest common ancestor of these two nodes. Now what exactly are you given to your function? You are passed the root node of the binary search tree, so this is the binary search tree essentially, and the two values whose common ancestor you will have to return from your function. And by two values, I mean two integers. So we will give you the two integers contained within those two nodes whose common ancestor you have to find. And we'll look at an example right here. So your return value will be, of course, a node which is the lowest common ancestor of these two nodes that you were given at the beginning. So let's look at an example here. What you will be given, for example, this might be a binary search tree that's passed your function. You would be passed this root node. And you are also given two integers. You are given, for example, 6 and 8. These two integers are guaranteed to be within that binary search tree. So here you see the 6, here you see the 8. And what your function is supposed to return is the lowest common ancestor of these two values. So what are the ancestors of 6? We can see 7 is an ancestor and 5 is an ancestor. And what are the ancestors of 8? We have 10, 7, and 5. So 5 and 7 are the two common ancestors of 6 and 8. And the lowest one between 5 and 7 is, of course, 7. So your function is going to have to return 7 as the lowest common ancestor node. And do keep in mind that you're going to have to return a node. So your function is going to return a node, whereas you are past two integer values. You're not past nodes, but integer values that are contained within nodes. So you would be given, for example, 6 and 4, 3 and 7, 10 and 1, or whatever values might be associated with a particular binary search tree. So this is just one example of a binary search tree that you would be given, and then you'd have to process it based on the two integers that you're given and return their lowest common ancestor according to your algorithm that you're going to be designing.